The quality of this bundle's recordings truly justifies the price. I've tested the five most popular studio bundles available right now. I've even got a mic, audio interface, and headphones bundle that costs only $158. So which one is right for you? Let's find out. I never like to keep you waiting for the best part of the video, so let's start right now. Here's a blind test of the song I recorded with the five mics and interfaces in this comparison. Make a note of your favorites, and I'll reveal which is which later. Every time I think of you, I get a shot right through into a bolt of blue. It's no problem of mine, but it's a problem I find. Living a life that I can't leave behind There's no sense in telling me The wisdom of a fool won't set you free That's the way that it goes What nobody knows And every day my confusion grows Every time I see you fall Did you pick your favorites? I'm gonna reveal which is which, and remember, the sound quality alone may not be enough to win. What about things like the included software, bonus features, and durability, build quality? Watch until the end to learn everything you need to know to make your decision. And if you use any of the links in the video description to buy one of these bundles, it does help out my channel, and you still get the best deals. If you're new around here, I'm Sanjay C. I have tons of videos about music production and budget gear on my channel. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I bring you the latest gear and budget options so you can record your own music at home. Were you surprised at the ones you picked? Let's get into the details. By the way, you'll see that I'm using a microphone shield. This is the Aston Halo. It's super effective in isolating your recordings and protecting it from reverb in your room. I'd really recommend this if you're recording at home or in a studio for that matter. It's big, but it's light and it worked beautifully. I'll put a link to it in the video description. All of these bundles come with three things, an audio interface, a microphone, and headphones. The Mackie bundle comes with an extra microphone, which makes it a bit more expensive, but otherwise it's comparable to the others. Latency was similar on these interfaces, but Mackie had a slight edge. All right, first up, the Mackie bundle was, in my opinion, the best sounding of all the bundles here. The mic picked up every nuance of the recordings and sounded very professional for this price. The quality of this bundle's recordings truly justifies the price. I recorded my vocals with the included condenser microphone, but depending on your voice or application, you may wanna use the dynamic mic included as well. The interface is also very high quality and my guitar recordings, once again, sounded excellent. The Mackie is the most expensive bundle here, and if you just need one specific mic, the other might just be a waste. But for the price, you do get some features like MIDI ins and outs. The only other bundle that includes MIDI ins and outs is the PreSonus. There is one questionable issue with the Mackie bundle, the headphones. They sound fine, but they look identical to the headphones included in the M-Audio and Focusrite bundles. It leads me to believe that these are just some generic headphones with each of the logos slapped on. They all sound pretty much the same. The audio interface features two combo inputs. You can record two microphones or two guitars or a combination or even a stereo synth. And the bundle includes all the cables and even a very nice shock mount. They've really covered everything. 
The Mackie Bundle includes Traction Music production software, but Traction doesn't have the same popularity and cachet of other DAWs included in the other bundles. Let's check out a bundle with my choice of software included. Now, the one thing these bundles don't include is speakers or studio monitors. I recently compared the best studio monitors for home recording, and you can watch that video here. Great budget picks in that video too. Next is the Focusrite Scarlett Solo Recording Bundle. It costs around $220, and for that price, the recording sounded excellent. I found that the Focusrite recordings were the smoothest of all. And with this bundle, you get an excellent software package. It comes with Ableton Live Lite, my DAW of choice, excellent Focusrite plugins, some free instruments, and access to the Focusrite Plugin Collective, which delivers free plugins every few months. Focusrite interfaces are the most popular out there, and this one has all the basic features and great sound quality to go along with it. However, you don't get as many options for ins and outs as you do with the PreSonus, Mackie, and Behringer interfaces in this roundup. If you need to record a stereo input, like a stereo synth, for example, you're better off buying one of the others. The Focusrite mic has a very tight XLR jack, and if you don't get your cable in just right, it actually produces a hum in your recordings. Easy to correct by jamming the cable in, of course. Focusrite has a great reputation, but for a little less money, you get a better value with the PreSonus bundle. Let's check that out next. And then we'll also take a look at the cheapest option in this roundup. Hey, if you're recording songs at home and want to release them to the world, you may want to check out DistroKid, the sponsor of today's video. I use DistroKid to upload my music to Spotify, Apple Music, Pandora, pretty much everywhere. No record label needed. I just do it myself straight from my computer. DistroKid distributes your music to all the popular platforms all at once, and they'll collect earnings from all the platforms so you get paid for downloads and plays. It's really seamless. One of my favorite features of DistroKid is HyperFollow. Once you upload your music, your unique HyperFollow page allows you to promote your music anywhere you want to share the link. And it's easy to get people to follow you to keep up with your future releases. Marketing your music, so important. I've actually created two dedicated videos on DistroKid to give you all the details about how it works, how you upload, how you get paid, and the features you don't wanna miss. You can watch my intro video to DistroKid right here. That video generated so many questions from you all that I created another one answering all the most popular questions. Check out those videos, and if you're ready to sign up, I'll include a link in the video description that will give you 7% off your first year of membership. All right, the PreSonus bundle is, in my opinion, the best value of all the bundles in this roundup. My recordings sounded great. A bit of high-end sparkle with this microphone, but still pleasant. The PreSonus audio interface is one of my favorites. I've actually recommended this interface before. At this price, you get two combo inputs and MIDI ins and outs, just like the Mackie. Vocals and guitar recordings sounded excellent with this interface. I've actually compared it to a bunch of other interfaces, and if you're just looking for an interface, you can check out my top picks in a video here. So, great interface, pleasant mic, and actually the headphones were decent too. They are more comfortable than the others and have decent isolation. The PreSonus bundle includes PreSonus's own Studio One artist recording software. Studio One is an excellent recording solution and they even throw in some very nice additional instruments and effects. Studio One is not as popular as some of the other DAWs out there, but it is complete nonetheless. The PreSonus hardware components don't have the same build quality as the Mackie ones, but it's such a great value and I highly recommend it as a complete solution that you won't need to replace for a long time. Next, let's look at the cheapest bundle, the Behringer Euphoria Studio Pro recording slash podcasting bundle. Wow, that's a mouthful. The Behringer bundle gives you everything you need for under $160, but the quality of the recording just didn't compare with the others in this roundup. The microphone just didn't deliver a full sound. It was harsh on the high end and it lacked a lot on the low end. My voice sounded thin and I had to EQ a lot to get it to sound natural. The interface itself isn't bad. This is the pro version of the Behringer bundle, so you get a decent interface. It's got all the features of the others, except no MIDI ins and outs, but you may not need that. The headphones included with this bundle are definitely the worst of the bunch. In fact, they feel and sound like headphones you might get on an airplane in economy class. I always try to find the positive aspects of the music gear I review, 
but it was impossible to find anything positive to say about these headphones. Okay, enough about that. Behringer throws in some software with this bundle, but nothing to write home about. So would I recommend it? If you're really tight on your budget, you can make do with this bundle but it's not up to par with the others in this roundup. All right, last we've got the M Audio bundle. This bundle includes one of my recommended audio interfaces. Great interface, and I love the layout of the controls. The microphone recording was fine, but not my favorite. It sounded a little boxy in my opinion. But hey, use your ears. If you like the sound, that's all that matters. They include a shock mount with this mic, which is nice. Nothing special with the headphones. They look and sound exactly the same as the ones included with Mackie and Focusrite bundles. M-Audio includes Ableton Live Lite, awesome, Pro Tools first, okay, and a bunch of great effects and instruments from Air. Great quality stuff. This is a great bundle, exactly the same price as the Focusrite one, but honestly, for $10 more, you get more features with that PreSonus one. Listen, you don't have to choose from my favorites. Use your ears, buy what you can afford, but I'm so glad I did this test because it really goes to show how good your recordings can be with a budget bundle like these. If you're ready to buy one of these, you can use the links in the video description below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like these. And if you'd like to show your support for this channel, check out my merch right under this video, t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, and even a MIDI and sample pack. Keep making the music you love. And hey, if you're just getting started with music production, watch one of these videos next. Every time I see